I'm Ashton Addison from Event Chain for Investment Pitch Media and the Crypto Coin Show. And today on Blockchain Interviews, we have Alex Melikov, the CEO of Equilibrium. Alex, welcome to the show and thanks for taking the time to be here today. Hi, Ashton. Uh, hi, everyone who watching us today. Thanks very much for having me here. Uh, super excited uh, about the opportunity to share more details on Equilibrium and uh, the Polkadot DeFi overall. Definitely. And I'm very excited to dive into the world of DeFi, especially in the Polkadot ecosystem. And DeFi overall has just been really hot throughout this bull market so far uh, this year in cryptocurrency. And I would just love for you to kick it off with just an overall explanation and overview and the focus of Equilibrium and the platform. Yeah, absolutely. So in a nutshell, Equilibrium is uh, the first interoperable conglomerate of DeFi products. Uh, it's uh, actually comprised of the comprehensive uh, lending platform and uh, the professional grade decentralized exchange. Um, so the reason why we are uniting all these uh, sort of DeFi use cases in uh, one interface is that um, we are aiming basically to solve the DeFi fragmentation. As you probably recall, uh, mm -hmm. the current DeFi markets is um, um, scattered uh, across multiple protocols and even uh, across multiple blockchain networks. Uh, so by building things on Polkadot, which delivers the interoper uh, interoperability uh, functionality out of the box and um, introducing all these DeFi use cases uh, united in one uh, stop shop, uh, we basically solve this this problem, first of all. And um, um, secondly, uh, you, you, you basically can consider that as uh, building a conglomerate as one of the approaches to solve this problem. However, basically the second uh, approach might be uh, building a sort of uh, aggregator, um, uh, like uh, the guys from uh, One Inch uh, Project uh, do, or per se, uh, guys from uh, refinance. Uh, obviously, this approach uh, also makes sense. However, it represents certain drawbacks. Um, uh, per se, you're taking the risk of uh, third-party technologies, uh, while uh, when you're taking the approach of building conglomerates, you have uh, basically the green fields uh, to design everything um, almost off the ground. Um, so we decided to take this approach um, uh, with respect to uh, the opportunity to uh, build things uh, on, on Polkadot, which is the brand new uh, ecosystem uh, which offers uh, the uh, ultimate number of uh, technical innovations. Mm -hmm. Definitely. It's very exciting, Alex. And I wanted to dive in a little bit more for people that are just diving into DeFi themselves right now in terms of the, the problems that you're solving. And I know the majority of DeFi uh, is on Ethereum. We're seeing the congestion there um, with the transaction fees and also uh, it's just a little slow and, and it's unexpected in terms of, you know, the, it could be double the cost one day, half the cost the next, the next, but it still seems to be uh, a little bit too much money compared to something like Binance Smart Chain. And then there's that having to switch between different protocols. Um, is Are those sort of the main issues right now is like the cost and also moving from a lending on one blockchain to the next? And is that really the primary solution that uh, Equilibrium is going to be bringing? Um, yes, absolutely. So definitely these uh, issues that uh, you, Ashton, mentioned are on the table. Uh, so first of all, uh, the um, in expensive transactions uh, is uh, one of the reasons why um, uh, users are moving from Ethereum to other chains, uh, Binance Smart Chain or some, some other blockchain platforms. Um, obviously, uh, Polkadot is also addressing this uh, issue by introducing um, first of all, sharding out of the box, right? So if you consider Polkadot as the blockchain platform, we have parachains uh, um, here on the table. And um, uh, on another side, uh, uh, Polkadot offers interoperability, uniting blockchain networks, um, uh, basically connected, connecting them with the, its relay chain via bridges. And uh, this is um, uh, kind of the solution to the uh, fragmentation of uh, of liquidity, first of all, right? Because uh, in the current DeFi space, you cannot uh, freely move assets across different blockchains in a decentralized manner. And uh, such uh, technical solutions as Polkadot is uh, one of the obvious solutions here uh, to, to this problem as well. Um, yeah, so um, 
building the conglomerates of uh, DeFi pro products on Polkadot is um, quite you know conscious decision because uh, uh, at some points we were um, obviously choosing the blockchain platform to uh, place our core technology to. And uh, the obvious choice was uh, was Polkadot at this at that point, because uh, from our perspective, it's one of the most um, uh, advantageous um, uh, platform in terms of um, its technical capabilities and how they they are solving the interoperability issue. Um, because uh, like you you know that uh, bridges on Polkadot are, are truly decentralized and mm -hmm. uh, actually uh, the Polkadot technology is. Um, um, uh, taking uh, basically close attention, paying close attention to the uh, decentralization and the optimization of uh, the overall uh, network capacity and uh, transaction costs and its efficiency. Mm -hmm. Definitely, and I agree, Alex. And I was looking at the Equilibrium uh, website and I see that you have a, a, a wide variety of uh, DeFi lending products already. Could you talk about you know what's most popular? What is what are the main products that you're delivering uh, for the end users on Equilibrium? <clears throat> so first of all, um, the um, lending platform is uh, the uh, main components of our DeFi platform uh, mm -hmm. platform overall, and um, uh, the functionality of uh, our lending platform includes obviously pooled lending, mm -hmm. um, also a decentralized stablecoin functionality. We have our dis uh, native decentralized stablecoin. Uh, back to dollar and uh, also we have the embedded functionality of uh, synthetic assets um, along with that uh, we uh, we are also offering uh, the functionality of different other derivatives uh, that will be built on top of this uh, of this of this of this platform as well so the uh, different dif the main difference between equilibrium and other lending platform is that uh, we are introducing the innovative um, uh, economy model which is underpinning all this product line and uh, we are bringing in uh, certain innovations uh, for example uh, we are taking the risk-based approach um, compared to the utilization approach, which is common to the current DeFi lending protocols like Compounds or Aave. And the main difference here is that this risk-based approach is inherited from the traditional finance. Uh, and that means that we are assessing borrowing costs, taking into consideration, first of all, the risk profile of particular user positions and uh, the system solvency overall, which means mm -hmm. that actually... Uh, the particular interest on the particular loan uh, depends on the um, um, sort of level of risk uh, for a user position and users can set um, lower interest on their loans by providing uh, either uh, more collateral or less volatile collateral uh, to their positions, which is quite, quite interesting. And from our perspective, it makes way more sense uh, rather than just, you know, setting interest based on utilization of the particular assets and uh, this approach makes the system more balanced and um, sustainable mm -hmm. definitely and thank you for that and you mentioned there the pooled lending and synthetic asset generation combining with trading and i would love to just elaborate on that a little bit more you know a lot of these terms for people that are just starting to stake and and move into liquidity pools are a little bit uh, confused with the details and the intricacies between the different kinds of uh, pr liquidity providing and, and staking. Could you just explain that a little bit more in terms of what is the pooled lending combining with synthetic asset generation and how does that provide value for the end users? Um, yeah, absolutely. So for, first of all, we clearly see the tendency on the markets uh, that um, different platforms are trying to build sort of ecosystems uh, around uh, their core products. Uh, per se, let's uh, take into consideration the synthetics platform. They mm -hmm. introduced uh, the syn synthetic asset generation first, and then they were starting building exchange and some other uh, features of their platform, which were uh, just um, um, like from our standpoints, uh, artificially combined uh, with uh, one with each other. Um, in the case of Equilibrium, we uh, were thinking of our product line as uh, the integ integral 
uh, sort of DeFi platform uh, with um, a wide variety of features um, uh, from basically from from the very beginning, and so that's why uh, first of all we have rolled out the very thought out architecture for that, and so all these products that I mentioned are simply strings on this architecture, and it, it doesn't require for us. Uh, from us uh, that uh, much development efforts to um, um, deliver sort of new functionality on top of that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, if this if this addresses your uh, your question. Yeah, it does. Thank you. And you know the DeFi space has been exploding and with exponential growth. And I'm curious to hear your story about the Equilibrium team growing the product and you know how has the growth of the industry impacted the way that your team has been building and scaling and trying to get to market and keep up with this fast paced growth? Um, yeah, so first of all, uh, we see uh, quite a bunch of interests uh, from the community um, uh, with regards to what we are building on Polkadot. And this is uh, kind of exciting because uh, uh, the more and more newcomers actually joining our community and support us from uh, different perspectives. Uh, we recently have... Um, um, conducted the first phase of our parachain list offering, for example, and we have collected uh, 250,000 bots, uh, which will be uh, used uh, as a bid for our parachain uh, on the Polkadot network. And um, uh, definitely in this um, kind of uh, overall atmosphere of excitement, it's quite easy to uh, build new products and to deliver new functionality. Uh, so we, we definitely rely on the support of our community. Uh, you know that uh, parachain auctions are coming to Kusama uh, and uh, we will be introducing uh, the uh, parachain on, on the Kusama network as well. It, will be, it, it is called Jinshira, uh, which will be a little bit different to what we are building on, on Polkadot because it will be um, sort of uh, 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 more... It, uh, more inheriting the experimental spirits of the Kusama network, first of all. And we also, uh, and we, we actually expect to um, uh, roll out the first uh, the first uh, sort of um, modules of our system into production on, on, on Kusama first. Mm -hmm. So, um, like, uh, get, getting back to your question, how exactly this sort of DeFi growth uh, and the excitement of the community impacts uh, equilibrium and uh, the development of our products. Uh, so again, we, we think that it, it definitely um, uh, the right time to um, roll out the new functionality introduced to the community and uh, uh, bootstrap liquidity and uh, acquire, uh, like facilitate the user acquisition at the same time. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And thank you for going into detail on the parachain lease offerings and in Kusama. I'm excited to see Equilibrium uh, first go to Kusama and it is very promising uh, what that technology can bring uh, to, to have Equilibrium you know, tie into that. And I'm guessing that those lease offerings tie into the EQ token as well. Could, can you talk about more about the equilibrium token and the ecosystem does it create a sustainable ecosystem for the participants inside of equilibrium um yeah for sure so we first of all we have the eq token which is the key assets for the equilibrium ecosystem it plays a significant role there uh being uh the first of all the um core assets for uh, our blockchain uh, at, um, uh, at the Polkadot, connected with the Polk Polkadot network. Uh, secondly, it will be used obviously uh, as a governance token and it will enable the community to vote for uh, some um, significant um, uh, system parameters. Uh, and um, um, uh, thirdly, it will be used as a platform currency. So users will be paying fees uh, and interest on their loans. And uh, maybe the most significant use case for uh, the EQ token is um, actually an opportunity to um, uh, use it as, as, as collateral and as a bailout liquidity to secure loans in the system and to earn additional yield. Um, so on the side of our Jinshira parachain, uh, which will be connected with the Kusama network, uh, we also have the utility token called um, GENS. Uh, and uh, this this token will be also distributed to existing EQ token holders and uh, uh, basically 
uh, the, the the vast majority of tokens will be distributed uh, even um, like uh, before the network will be launched, um, and uh, specifically through the PLO, which is upcoming, and uh, we expect to roll out the PLO on Kusama. Uh, relatively soon, because uh, um, uh, it seems like the 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 Russian auctions on Kusama will be launched uh, really, really, really shortly. Mm-hmm. Great, thank you for that explanation, Alex. And yeah, I was going to ask the next steps for Equilibrium. Are you waiting on Kusama to enable the PLOs? Uh, what are the main goals that your team's trying to achieve in the next? two to three months as you continue to grow and launch the platform? Um, <clears throat> so first of all, we are um, expecting to um, launch the core functionality, uh, specifically our lending platform, uh, as we have, uh, since we have developed um, um, almost everything in terms of our lending platform, including the bailout functionality, uh, the functionality of uh, pooled lending, and stablecoin functionality as well. Um, so it will be um, sort of the first batch of uh, features that will be rolled out into production. Uh, simultaneously, we will be launching our liquidity farming program, which will allow the community to earn uh, on uh, liquidity provision into our system. And we expect to bootstrap liquidity through that mm-hmm. um, on, on, on our platform. Um, so in uh, with respect to our sort of um, short, short-term short plans, I think that's that's pretty much it. And uh, obviously um, uh, the significant uh, portion of these plans is related to um, obtaining the Parachain slot on Kusama. Um, and uh, simultaneously, we are getting prepared for the second phase of our PLO on Polkadot, and we expect that, like, uh, roughly in uh, months, m- one month or so after uh, Kusama, uh, parachain auctions will kick off. Uh, the parachain auctions will arrive at, at the Polkadot network as well. Mm-hmm. Very exciting. And for the viewers that are interested in following along uh, with these launches on Equilibrium and getting involved in the community, what's the best way for them to learn more? Um, yeah, so first of all, um, you definitely need to uh, follow our Twitter uh, accounts. Uh, it's uh, Equilibrium uh, DeFi. Um, also, you can follow uh, the Twitter accounts of our Jinchira uh, projects, uh, which is uh, Jinchira DeFi. Uh, also, feel free to visit our website at uh, equilibrium.io and uh, join our Telegram channel as well. Sounds great, Alex. I will leave all of those links in the description box below. All the best with the upcoming launches and the whole platform. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing it launch, and I will be following along. And let's uh, follow up in the near future. Absolutely. Thanks, Ashton. Thanks, everyone, for um, joining us today.